All right. Uh, in filmmaking, sometimes you've got to go the extra mile or the extra few hundred miles. Uh, I'm up here in Kawakawa on my way to Kerikeri Keri to uh, find some archive footage. Uh, it was recorded on Sony Digital, Digital 8, so it's going to be a little bit of a transfer process. And of course, the people who own the footage don't want to part with it, send it in the post. So it's uh, one of those missions. You just got to got to go and get it, transfer it into a digital file, and yeah, then make it into the movie. This one here is significant in terms of what you're looking at. This is the containment blocks for the slurry that was coming out of the Panguna mine. And uh, so it was not allowed to go directly into the Java River. Um, so what happened after the hostilities? Were you you were present during them or you had led, uh, left us before? I was there up until May of 1988. And at that stage, most of the expatriates were... Um, being relocated and getting out of there. So the the Arawa town village was depopulated and the rebels were in fact in the process of blowing up the uh, pylons, electric, electric pylons up to the mine and denying the uh, town the power, which was the Lolaho power station. And uh, so things were getting a very, very uh, uncomfortable for anybody, anybody there. A whole lot of photos in relation in this album which relates to the actual project activities. Fantastic.